Brawl Stars is a game I've been playing on and off for a very long time. Actually, since I was in 8th grade in the summer of 2019, and I'm graduating out of high school, so this game has been around for a while. Like other Supercell games, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, you'll play this game, grind it out for a while, get tired of it, pick it back up again. And I think Brawl Stars just got out of a dark age, and there have been a lot of changes, and I think it's like onto its golden era because I think there are a lot of great things going on right now so in this video I'm going to talk about why Brawl Stars is fun again and at the end I'll even give some tips I think Supercell can use to improve the game even more the first thing I want to start out with is bling now you can buy skins with not just gems but bling and I know they used to have star points but those were only on a very a few amount of skins. I like bling because back in the day I was like do I want to spend my gems on progression or do I want to get a cool skin so now you can kind of do both. I know you can't get the legendary skins with bling, which is kind of a bummer, because like, I really want that Brock Zeus skin. I think that skin's really cool. But being able to get skins without having to worry about wasting your gems feels very good. Oh, and I remember having to check the shop every day for skins that I was like, oh, is the skin I want in the shop? But now you can get skins whenever you want, which is also very uh, consumer friendly. They still have skins in the shop at a discount, so there still is motive to check the shop every day. Maybe the skin you want is being discounted. Like I got the Serenade Poco skin for like 30 gems on Valentine's Day. I knew it'd be on sale. Anyways, the next new thing is the uh, Clan Wars for Brawl Stars, which is Mega Pig. I think Mega Pig could be improved a good amount because it just doesn't seem like many people do it, even in like clubs with active people. But still, it's pretty good rewards and everything, so I'm glad they added that in. It gives it more depth. There have been a lot of changes in terms of, like, rewards that you get. Like, I remember the OG Brawl Boxes. Those were pretty cool, but they were also super frustrating because, like, I'd been playing the game for, like, two years waiting for that one legendary. I think it was Leon, and then my brother gets the game and gets Leon immediately. So it was pretty unfair. You had to spend a ton of gems to, like, grind through Mega Boxes if you want to get a Brawler. And then they got rid of them for a while, and I don't know, I stopped playing because it wasn't that great. I stopped playing like right after the first battle pass with Gale for a while. I got him. Then I've been playing off and on since then. But anyways, I like what they've done now with the star drops. It's kind of like, honestly, they're really similar to Brawl Boxes, except it just gives you one thing instead of multiple things. And I think you can still get Brawlers from the star drops, it's just harder, because I've gotten like an epic one, but I haven't gotten a legendary one. I want Cornelius, man, he's pretty cool. But anyway, star drops are good. I think they're a step in the right direction. And, of course, being able to unlock brawlers that you want with chroma chroma credits, chrome credits. I think that's super smart, because you're guaranteed, eventually, as long as you just keep playing, to get that brawler. It's not based on luck. Even though, one thing they can improve with that is they make you cycle through, like, oh, you have to get this epic, you have to get this mythic. I want to just be able to unlock the legendaries or the ones that I want to get. I don't want it to tell me a certain class. I think that's really dumb. Anyways, there's one thing that they can improve. And super recently, as of like the last update, they got a ranked mode in, which is good. I feel like every game kind of needs that. But uh, the rewards are good. You can get like guaranteed legendary drops. I'm just in gold three because I haven't had a lot of time to play yet, but it is pretty cool. Also, the hyper charges, man. I don't know what it is about them. They don't even, they don't seem to make that big of a difference, but they just feel super satisfying and cool to like pop off and go super saiyan. And uh, I think Leon's looks like Itachi's Mangekyo Sharingan, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, that was a quick little side note. I think Hypercharge is super cool. 5,000 gold, though, that's pretty dang expensive. I wasn't really happy when they brought gadgets into the game. I mean, not gadgets, sorry. Gadgets are cool. Uh, gears into the game. Because gears were like, it's just like, I had a lot of brawlers maxed out to power 9. I was like, glad. Now I have to get everyone to 11, and gears just didn't seem that fun. The hypercharges are, man. Hypercharges are cool. Also, like, the brawler-specific mastery. It's, like, bronze, silver, gold, whatever. It's just, like, specifically that brawler, and it's not like trophies. You don't lose it. You just get more for being a star player. I think that's super good. Just gives you one extra thing to do, and, uh, yeah. There's also fame, which I think is kind of pointless. It's, like, when you have all the brawlers, you get a certain amount of fame. But I played for a while back in the day, and I did have every brawler, so I have like 2,000 credits of fame, which doesn't really get me anywhere. I'm still at like the globe or whatever that everyone starts on. I think a change they should make is you should be able to trade in your fame credits if you want, because like, what about if you get a bunch of fame and then a brawler comes out that you really want? Well, that those, well, those credits are gone now, which is pretty dumb. So I think you should be able to withdraw ones from your fame and stuff. 
obviously the quest and the brawl pass are still pretty much the same. I know they have like an extra tier on the brawl pass now. Uh, I ain't really worried about either of them. They've been that way for a long time and they're pretty cool. I like being able to have quests. I remember back in the day instead of quests you had to like, you played each mode and got a win in each mode and then you got like a big token to go towards your mega boxes. So uh, man, those were the days. Also, last but not least, I like that Brawl Stars keeps adding new modes. I know Hot Zone used to be a new mode, Knockout, I really like those. Uh, I like Basket Brawl. I think they just brought that one back. That one's really fun, even though it's annoying when your teammates don't know how to shoot. But I like that they keep trying to make new modes, switch things up, and uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, if, if you like this video, drop it a like helps Maybe out. Maybe even a subscribe if you're feeling inspirational. But uh, if you want more Brawl Stars content, let me know in the comment section below. See ya.